another $15. Every time you spend $75, you're going to see a $15 credit to your account. The code is right there on the screen. I suggest that you write that down. All right. We're going to continue on. This is something that I own and I love. It is our three-in-one Buzz Butterfly Bush. We have had this year after year. Mm -hmm. It is always one of our best performers. It is. If you, can, if you don't have a lot of money today, if you got 20 bucks and you want to buy a plant today, I recommend you get this, Sorry. especially when the 4th of July comes around and you've yeah. got red, white, and blue <laughs> in your front yard. It is called the butterfly bush. I'm gonna let Rochelle take over and talk all about it, but what I will tell you right off the bat, look at the texture, the stalks, the spikes of color. If you want butterflies to come to your yard, get this and they will yeah. come. Yeah, no, Every they time. absolutely will. And you know what's great about this one? Look at the way this looks. You've got the purple, the pink, and the white all in one plant. Although the big secret is you don't really have it all in one plant. There are three. They've been grown together this way, so they behave as if they're one plant, but you get all three colors, which to me, I mean, that is absolutely stunning. This is one, one container will fill a, fill a container. So put this in like a 12 to 16 inch pot and you will have this in the summer. They are incredibly, incredibly easy to grow. You really have uh, nothing to worry about with these. These are sun lovers. You can tell that because they have this beautiful silvery green foliage. I love that about the butterfly bush. They're a little bit wild looking. You know, they kind of have that open, looser sort of habit about them, which to me, that's that's just my style. I, yeah. like, I like a slightly wilder plant. <clears throat> These are gonna be, uh, th the other thing about this is they're so easy to grow. Yeah. Up in New England, they kind of die, they're, they're woody. You can see, that they've yeah, got these stop. woody stems. Yeah. They will die all, all, basically back to the ground and this entire thing will regrow in, uh, up in New England. Yeah. Down here in the south, they won't even die all the way back, so you get even bigger yeah. and bigger sort of shrubs because the, the whole thing won't even die back. It stays, uh, um, you know, more of it stays alive through the winter and then, you know, when you come back in the spring, it, it throws out more and more blooms I every year. I love the spikes because I, I just like how they offer a different texture in your yeah. garden and if Very you come different. in really close thank you guys that's a great shot coming up you'll notice what you've got there is a whole cone of little feeding stations yep. right and they're those little tubular ones with the hummingbirds love those and so do the butterflies you know the butterflies have those love that proboscis and thing and they kind of go in there and they take whatever they want the nectar and the pollen and they 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 help your garden because there's so much great pollen in here that they're going to share that with all your yeah. other plants and flowers and yep. you're going to get everything's going to get cross pollinated i also love the foliage on these plants it's it's an icy minty green yeah it's so which, nice which is a great backdrop for these yep and then as i said when the fourth of july comes you got fireworks in your oh, garden. Yeah. Look at this. And these really are great, great cut flowers too. Yeah, so yeah. whatever else you have going on. Sturdy. Sturdy. They yeah. really last a long time in a vase. They smell amazing too. They smell like honey. There's nothing like a butterfly bush in the garden. You're going to know it when you smell it. It's like smelling basil or a rose or something. You know, that's basil. That's a rose. You'll know a, a butterfly bush because it, it literally smells like you put a and pot of honey in the microwave and warmed it up. Doesn't it? Yeah. And so this, this would be a really good one to maybe put out on your front porch, yeah. maybe around an area where you open a window, mm. just like your gardenia plant that's our today's special coming up, because you wanna have that kind of wafting of like, oh my gosh, mm. it's, you know, it's truly a smell of spring and summer. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. It's fresh. It's clean. It's not overbearing. No, no. But it's you just... know, it makes me, I have one outside my garage and it's it's kind of in a spot that gets baked and it gives these shadows. And I just, yeah. every time I think I'm like, this is like yeah. the dog days of summer and that yeah. kind of still quiet yeah. summer when everything's a little I... bit calm and hot. That's the thing. These yeah. perform in the heat. They, they love really it. They really like the heat. So Summer thrivers. A lot of yeah. things kind of die, not die in the summer, but they, they take yeah. in their flowers. They, they It's too much energy to throw yeah. out flowers and keep themselves I, going. These are the opposite of that. These I, will keep your garden yeah. so pretty. I love what you talked about days. earlier when they said these look like wildflowers. Yeah. I lived, <clears throat> I grew up in Connecticut and we grew up in an area where there was a lot of old farmers had lived in the area we lived in. So there were stone mm. walls from 150 mm, mm -hmm. years ago everywhere. And the, the farmers were gone. The land was, was just hay and wildflowers. 
And I am cool. telling you, I'm in the heat of summer. I know, yeah. isn't it? In the heat of summer, because we had the part of the stone wall. Yeah. And that was how the farmers built that to, to yeah. that was their land. Yeah. So it was borders. And I would sit outside, and my dad had a garden back there too, and we, and we would open the windows. You could smell the smell from the field coming in. It, it was it. unbelievable. It's so like, nice. it's one of my favorite memories yeah. as a kid. And what's sad so about it, you know what sucks yeah. about it? Somebody bought all that property and oh. put up houses. I know, oh. it happens. Mm. But you know what? You can still create your own little space. Yeah, you can. And you can have that. And to Rochelle's point, on a hot day, hot day that right. honey scent is going to come in through your windows. Oh my gosh, you're going to absolutely love it. I love this in an arrangement. I love it in a You can put this in with your roses. I mean, you uh, can No, cut, these cut are them. roses, lavender. A lot of the things yeah. that we've had in the shows today are really great companions to this. I would say this is one of the focal point ones, plants, though. So, you know, kind of this well, it's one. Big. Will, it's big. Yeah. It's also, you know, three beautiful colors. It's got this nice shape. You know, it really looks great from, you know, all sides. It's got this beautiful texture of... Um, the silvery leaf, which, you know, just to remind everybody, that tells you it's gonna be good in the hot and the sun, and yeah. it's gonna be very drought tolerant. So that is such a nice foliage to yeah. contrast with everything else. It's different, Let me, um, which you really want to have. I'm so sorry yeah. to interrupt you. I just want to talk about the shipping of this, because I know yeah, a lot of people go. are like waiting to order because they want to know, hey, listen, when I buy when do this, I get it? when do I get it? <clears throat> so here's what happens, okay? First of all, everybody that orders is gonna get one of our pamphlets, okay, has everything in there, all the information, phone numbers, all that stuff if you have any questions. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an a easy care guide that tells you everything. This is it right here, but all the information, I'm trying to open it up with my fingers, there it is, gives you all the information, all the growing tips and everything that you need right there, okay. So when you order today, we'll put our map up. We know where you live based on your zip code, okay? And there are different areas of the country where it's very cold still, and there are areas where it's warming up, obviously going north to south. So if you live up in the pink area, you're not gonna get your deliveries until probably end of April, early May. If you're in the middle of the country, it'll range anywhere from late March all the way through uh, to mid to late April. If you're living south where we are, and the, you know Texas and parts of California, you're gonna get your plants right away. If you're not getting yours until later, you're not gonna be charged until they, uh, your order is processed and shipped. Right. So all you're doing now, if you live in North Dakota, is you're making sure that in about a month or so, you're gonna get a beautiful butterfly yep. bush, and that's all you're doing. When you get it, it'll already be living, Yep. ready to go ready in a little go. pot. In a little pot. Yep. Put it in another pot or put it in the ground. And by the way, these are very hardy. They're hardy way up north. I live in Boston. They come back every year. They're very, very reliable. You can't go wrong with these. They're also very hardy down south here. They just get a little bit bigger. Um, and put it in your garden right away. They're perennials. I just wanna make sure everybody knows that, perennials. So they come back every year. This that also means size. they come with our one year guarantee. Oh. So this is something that you're gonna be able to enjoy yeah. every year. It gets a little bit bigger every year, a little yep. bit fuller every year. Well, as if you look at the ones that, that we're showing there. Yeah. Can you see how full the cones are? Container gardens. <clears throat> As they get larger, the cones become a little bit wider. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you want to be careful when you plant this because remember, this thing is going to grow. Yeah. All right, it's going to wind up. The one that we have here is how old, would you say, about estimated? This is probably two years old. Two years old? Yeah. And this one is probably about three feet wide going across, which is fine. I mean, you could always trim it up if you needed to, but... Look at that display. I would love to have two of these out on my front porch. I think like they are For the stunning. holiday for 4th of July, how yeah. cool would that no, be? No, they're very cool. Right? They're very Red, cool. Red, white, and blue, kind Red, of. white, and blue, kind of. <laughs> Red, white, and purpley Pink, blue. purple, and white. Periwinkle. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna love it. Um, I know we are incredibly busy. Use that little code right there uh, that you see at the bottom of the screen, down there, way down below, right, right around there. And take a picture of that with your phone. Don't take a picture, just put, hold your phone app up in front of it. Lock it in, it'll take you right to HSN. You can order this lickety split. All right, we gotta move on because I got more beautiful flowers coming up. I love when we launch our flowers, isn't it fun? Yeah, I do. I get to see my best buddy a lot. <laughs>